You know, I've been thinking about doing this video for a long time, but to be honest with you, I thought that I shouldn't do it because uh, I'm sharing some secrets that I know I maybe shouldn't, and I know Lori's gonna be upset about it, but uh, I wanna talk about like my idea of success and how I got here, and maybe encourage and motivate you guys. What do you say we jump right into it? First thing we have to do is define success. Now, I wanna start with prefacing that success is different for every person. The way I define success is really happiness, right? I wanna do the things that I am really passionate about, that I wake up in the morning and that I'm super excited about it, but I always wanna do more, you know, that's just the way I'm wired. I'm an idea guy, right? I never kind of settle for one thing. So for me, success is continuing to find things that I'm gonna be happy with, still enjoying the things that I've already done, but also expanding them to the next adventure. And listen, anyone that knows me knows I have a lot of ideas. And the thing is, I'm about taking those ideas and making them a reality. And the thing about ideas for me is that I don't have a fear of trying to do them. I don't have a fear of failing when I try. I have a fear of not trying and not knowing if I would have succeeded or failed, right? So the fact is like the rep Karen, for instance, I know you guys know all about this. It started with an idea, right? I started with this building right here and I thought maybe I can make a little reptile zoo. Will it work? Won't it work? I don't know. I didn't know how it's going to do it. Originally, funny enough, I was thinking about doing like foam that we would literally carve into this type of rocking type of stuff and then ultimately put grout on it and paint it and stuff like that. Would have taken me three years to get to this point. And of course, through research, I found Universal Rocks and made this place a reality so much quicker than I possibly could have. But if it wasn't for just kind of that passion and idea and the willingness to go forward with things, because listen, it cost a lot of money, there was a big risk, but it didn't matter because I believed that it was gonna be successful. And you guys know that it was a success, so much so that we did 2.0, and you also know that right now, we're working on 3.0 and then ultimately 4.0 with the aquarium. But the fact is, guys, I know that a lot of people just wanna do one thing and they wanna do it really good. And there's not a problem. If that's you, that is good because everybody's different. But I'm not that guy. You're not that guy. I'm the guy that actually wants to do many, many things because by the time I'm even done with a thought process of one thing like Reptarian 3.0 and 4.0 with the aquarium, I'm already thinking of the next thing that I want to do. <laughs> Look at this cute little monkey here. This of course is the Suriname Bufo toad, the cane toad or marine toad, whatever you want to call them. Big giant toad, absolutely incredible. The fact is I'm going to share a few things with you guys today that most likely might not even be a good idea that I'm letting them out of the bag. These are ideas or things that I want to do that might be in the very early stages or maybe might be a little bit further along to be honest with you and I know Lori always says don't share those types of things Brian because maybe someone's gonna steal your idea but the fact is is that if someone wants to steal my idea and do the work then go for it I don't have a problem with that but let's trust me everything I do has to be executed at the highest level to be success so if you want to steal the idea and execute it at a higher level than I am then I give you all the power to it because trust me it's gonna be hard I'm gonna work really hard to make all these things a Reality. So listen, you guys are my family. So uh, what do you say we jump right into them? Now you guys know that I am all about experiences. To be honest with you, my idea in life now is to create experiences in everything I do, right? I wanna bring value to community. I wanna build community and ultimately bring value to that community in the form of experiences, right? We know that the Reptarium is always that way. You can feed alligators, you can hold snakes, you can do all kinds of different, you know, go in with a sloth. Now we have the armadillo that you can mess with. The aquarium's gonna be the exact same way, right? We're gonna have the aquarium where you can swim with, touch, feed, stingrays, sharks. There's gonna be touch tanks. There's gonna be interactive stuff. That's what it's all about, right? And I'm all about those experiences. I'll be honest with you, one of my heroes was Walt Disney, you know, and I realize I'm no Walt Disney. What I'm trying to say is that I love the fact that his ideology was to create an experience that you couldn't get anywhere else or was very difficult to get anywhere else. And that's what we're trying to achieve. Now the next experience that just came into my mind that I've done a bunch of research on, we're gonna have to go over to BHB's basement. And this idea definitely starts right down here. Hey, RJ, what's going on? You guys remember I talked about wanting to make this aisle into kind of enclosing. RJ, what are you doing, silly? Don't, come on, bye. What a silly monkey. And, and I wanted these to be enclosures for the actual overflow animals that were educational. Well, the truth is, things have changed. And I want experience, experience, experiences, right? So I thought to myself that 
I am gonna change this basement completely, completely. There will be no breeder animals down here. And listen, every time you have an idea, it proposes problems, right? And problems you have to solve. Now my problem is, what do I do with the animals here? I have to find space. Maybe I'll have to get another building, maybe I'll have to do something else, not sure. But let me tell you what I want to do experience-wise, right? I want to turn this entire basement, the entire thing, into basically like a cave, right? So you would walk down the stairs from the Reptarium into a cave type of setting, right? Now down here in that cave, there would be a handful of activities. In particular, kids are gonna love these activities. What I wanna do is have like, down this main strip right here, there's gonna be basically like a water stream, like a mine, right? Like a miner's thing. And you could actually get and sift through things, like you have little sifters where you're gonna get gemstones and maybe fool's gold and stuff like that. So that's gonna be one of the activities. Maybe in a corner over here, I'm gonna have an area that has like, you know, a foot of actual pea gravel down here that's actually going to be able to be dug into. And in there, there's going to be things you can find excavating, right? Because I know when I was a kid, I wanted to be a paleontologist. I love mining for gold. I thought that was such an amazing life. So I want to create an area like that. Maybe over on the other side, there's going to be a big area that you can actually look for fossils. You know, have a little brush and, and, and brush through sand and find fossils. And these are things that you'll be able to take home. And there'll probably be four or five other activities in this basement that are going to be awesome and maybe even some animals down here who knows it's a cave maybe i'll do a little bat exhibit i'm not sure regardless even though we haven't started on 3.0 or 4.0 i'm already thinking about now 5.0 now this will come after the reptarium expansion this will come after the aquarium but i have to start to prep it now right that way we have the elevator going to all three floors we have stairways going to all three floors that way it's ready so that when i do prep it i can actually make that happen it's an idea i'm super excited about and another experience i think i can bring to families and people that want to travel in and maybe do everything. Hey, you want to go to the aquarium? You go to the aquarium. You want to go to the reptarium? You go to the reptarium. Now you can come down to the mine and do some mining and stuff like that. It's going to be absolutely incredible. And by the way, all these ideas I'm about to share with you, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Am I crazy? Would you like it? Do you think it's an awesome idea? Would people come? I don't know. Again, I don't mind trying it and having it fail. I just know that now it's a vision in my head. I've got to make it a reality and find out if it actually will work. Never really talked about this one, but I'm actually part owner in a company called Redline Science that right now just has a bunch of really cool like stainless steel type stuff like you know hemostats and scissors and tweezers and all kinds of stuff like this. Now this company will eventually have hundreds and hundreds of reptile related product you know and right now you can buy it at like you know Triple L, I think Pangea, Josh's Frogs, Reptile Basics. It's going to be all over the place soon enough but we're pretty excited about the start of it. I mean some of these like scrapers are super cool. I mean there's just a whole bunch. I mean all the colors are really neat if you want to jazz up your reptile room and I'm really excited about this company. Again, this is just the very start. I mean, there's going to be hundreds and hundreds of other products from caging to you name it. I mean, if you think reptile products right now, there's egg trays that you can buy from Redline Science. But uh, but I'm excited about being part of a, a new product line that I think is going to be really cool that can bring value to the community, right? And again, I talk about it all the time. Build community, add value to that community, and that's what's important. What's needed, right? And we're going to try to bring out products that we feel are going to really enhance keeping and making keeping reptiles easier easier, right? And that's what it's all about. But again, I talk about fall in love with it. I'm in love with Redline Science. I'm in love with the process of building that company along with my other partners to make this an awesome company, right? And that's what I want to do. I want to always be in love with what I want to do. So I'm excited about it. Just like I'm excited about Redline. I'm excited about every single project that I'm talking about today. And I'm trying to bring value to the community. And speaking of value, I am in love with this next one. And this is the one that I'm probably the most afraid to tell you guys about. And like I said, I've been working on this for a while now, but it, it's pretty close to reality. Not sure if I should be sharing it, but I'm gonna tell you guys because I love you guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. So we are actually going to launch something that's called Animal Con USA, basically. It's a Comic con -y type of thing, right? But so we're gonna take your favorite YouTubers, Instagrammers, TikTokers that are animal related. I mean, I'm gonna to try to get every animal related thing, not just reptiles. I'm talking fish, I'm talking big cats, I'm talking you name it. If you follow someone online for animals, I'm gonna to try to get them into one spot. It's gonna be in Florida. We're shooting for next July. We're 
meeting with a, a resort. Can't say much about anything else right now, but it's gonna be absolutely amazing. So you guys could actually come down and meet everyone. So there would be panels, there'd be Q and A's, there'd be all kinds of events with your favorite social media people. And then you also could have a meet and greet with them as well. So you can actually get a picture with them, a signature, you know, hang out with them for a few minutes. So again, like a Comic Con, but just for animal personalities, right? Animal influencers. Again, not just YouTubers, it could be Instagrammers, it could be TikTokers, it could be, you know, people on Facebook, whatever. So, you know, first off, I wanna know, is that something you're excited about? Would you wanna come down to Florida in July? And we have a bunch of cool stuff going, I can't tell you everything. Oh, we have so much cool stuff, guys. Uh, but it's gonna be cool. Lots of other events that are gonna be attached to this, and it's gonna be absolutely amazing. Talk to a bunch of really big influencers already that are on board, and they're like, yes, we're gonna come. Still have some more that I gotta run. So down in the comments, let me know if you would come. Let me know, number two, who should I talk to? Who do you watch online, whether it be on YouTube or Instagram or TikTok, that you'd like to see at the event? Because I wanna make sure I'm getting as many, I'm talking like maybe 100, maybe even 200 of the top influencers in one spot that you guys could, again, meet and greet with, talk to, you know, get involved with. I mean, it would be absolutely amazing. I've been thinking about this for years, and I finally took the initiative to start it going here over the last several months, and now we're at a point where we're almost locked in, so it is so close. Like I said, I probably should have waited until we were locked in to talk to you about it, but uh, today is a day I'm trying to inspire you guys and also tell you how I look at success and how I like to build community, right? This is about building community, getting people together and then adding value to that community by letting people interact with the people that they really love online and that they look up to and inspire them. So let me know what you guys think. Like I said, I'm a little nervous that I just shared that with you. We actually talked about this the other day on the podcast a little bit. If you didn't do it, by the way, if you're not following my podcast, checking in, link in the description, uh, definitely come follow because we love it. You know, we talked a little bit about this. It's a little bit in the future. I'm not going to lie to you. Not everyone understands what these are yet. Some of you guys may have heard of NFTs, non-fungible tokens, right? And basically they're like digital art, they're digital collecting pieces, stuff like that. Well, we've been working for the last several months on launching NFTs, right? Now listen, it may seem like a hard thing because you have to have an e-wallet, it's based in Ethereum, all kinds of different stuff. Although you can buy it with US dollars, it's actually converted to Ethereum, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be a little bit of learning, but the fact is, is that in four or five years, everybody, all of you guys are gonna have e-wallets and you're all gonna have NFTs. I mean, there are actually like now musicians that are releasing their albums as NFTs. Their entire album is coming out as an NFT. So trust me, NFTs are the future and we wanna be on the base floor of that future when it comes to animals and reptiles. So we're about to launch some NFTs for the very first time. The first ones are gonna be what they call general generative NFTs. And basically what that's going to mean is it's going to be a picture and it's going to be generated into a thousand other types of pictures that are all similarly based on the same one. But you will have the unique one. You will have the only one and it's going to be on the blockchain so that no one else could steal that from you. And it's basically yours to do whatever you want with it. The idea is to build a community in the NFT world. Now there's going to be utility or what they call function with it, right? So that, that you're not just buying something, but you are buying something. But we also want to create utility. Basically what else are we giving you? So, you know, it could be things like a percentage of sales go to US Arc, a percentage of the secondary sales go to you. So basically what happens is that NFT, as you buy it, it may become worth more money because people want it. Now you can sell that NFT and make money on it, but then when they sell it, you can get a percentage of the next sale and the next sale and the next sale. It's called perpetuity. So part of that money can go back to you, part of that money can go to US Arc to continue to fund US Arc, our reptile advocacy group. Then beyond that, we're going to launch reptile packs here in the next month and a half or so that'll be like a pack of 10 trading cards so you can kind of you know collect reptarium animals or you can collect ball pythons you could collect them virtually right and these packs are going to be random packs so maybe one out of every 10 packs you buy on random are going to have a holographic this really rare snake that has this cool pattern and that's going to have more value and then we're just trying to build community right so we're excited about the nft thing i know it's early and i know a lot of people are very confused about it but i think it's going to be really exciting so stay tuned like i said hopefully within the next two three four weeks tops we're going to launch our first nfts and i am super excited Excited to be the first one in the game in the reptile hobby. So that basically wraps it up. And again, I gotta tell you, I don't do anything until I fall in love with it. I keep saying that, but I have an idea. If I fall in love with the idea, that's when I wanna go. And I have so many things in the back of my head that jump out all the time that I haven't quite fallen in love with yet. If they come to fruition where I'm like, oh, wait a second, now I wanna revisit it, I do. I have a notebook literally full and full of ideas.
ideas. I have hundreds of domain names I picked out for business ideas. It's just that I haven't fallen in love with them yet. Doesn't mean I'm not going to in the future, but I hope that I've inspired you guys. I want to know in the comments what you think about things, which, which project you're excited about, which ones you think I'm crazy about. I want to hear about it, man. You're my family, and I wanted to just kind of get this all off my chest, and I know when Lori watches, she's going to be really mad at me, so say something nice, okay? If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor. Hit a playlist right over here. I really do appreciate you. On this side, you can hit that subscription button. Have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.